This is your investment update for November 2016. Uh, November was a much more interesting month than we'd had the past couple um, after Donald Trump won the presidency on uh, November 8th. Uh, the market um, took off, really, after he won, which I think was something that most market participants um, didn't really think was going to happen. And in fact, during the night when the uh, presidential election was going on, the futures were actually limit down at one point. They were down 5%. So it looked like things were going to get scary by the time the morning came around. Uh, the markets were behaving and went up and hit new highs. Then the S&P ended the month up 3.7%. Small cap stocks were up 11 per, over 11%. Just a huge move for small caps. Uh, not so great for international stocks. They were down 1.9%. And kind of a really poor month for bonds. Um, domestic bonds were down 2.4%. International bonds, which had been having a great year, were down 4%. So pretty big move down for bonds. All of this is interrelated. So, so what's really going on? Um, if you kind of read through the news, you kind of see the consensus out there is that the Republicans won the House and the Senate. That's the, the biggest key. Rather than just Trump winning, the Republicans now have the House and the Senate, which controls the budget. And one of Trump's biggest initiatives is infrastructure spending. So what the market's likely anticipating is that um, they're going to be able to loosen up the purse strings and actually pass some budget reform through the House and the Senate, which is going to create jobs, infrastructure jobs. So that, that means real job growth. What we've seen the last eight years, the unemployment rate's gone down, but it's really been people leaving the workforce or being underemployed and kind of the denominator changing, but not really a lot of job growth. The hope here is that some of his policies are going to actually create real jobs, um, create some inflation in the economy, and kind of create some real growth metrics to push things forward. Uh, so that's why the market seemingly likes uh, the Trump presidency. What it really seems to like is the House and the Senate both being um, controlled by the Republicans and being able to push through some budget reform that's kind of been stymied the last couple of years. Um, now, that being said, th that's going to cause some turmoil in the bond market. What you're going to anticipate in that kind of scenario are higher rates, higher inflation. So, you know, the 10-year Treasury, the night Trump got elected, was at about 1.8%. It's now at 24 That's a pretty big move. But it's something we've seen several times over the past couple of years, so it's not something to really worry about. It's just something that kind of rapidly happened. Thirty-year Treasury went from two point six to three over three. Um, you know, these are normal moves when you have that kind of a shock to the market, and this is why we've had a defensive duration positioning in our bond portfolio for a while. We've kept our duration very low, so because we anticipated shocks like this in the bond market. So. Uh, all that being said, it looks like it's positive right now. Expect bumps in the road. We expect volatility. You know, Trump's got going to, you know, become president here in a month, and then we're really going to start seeing some policies, and he's inevitably going to do some things the market probably doesn't like at some point. So, expect some volatility. But for right now, the market seems to like um, what's going on, and, and we're just going to continue to monitor things and, and kind of let our portfolios grow off the back of it.